Emma Bunton first crashed into our collective consciousness as Baby Spice, one-fifth of legendary 90s girl band The Spice Girls. The singer's love life sure has had its spicy moments over the years. Here is a complete timeline of Emma Bunton's dating history. Emma Bunton apparently once had a fling with Lee Brennan, who was part of British boy band 911 at the time. Brennan told The Sun in 2013, I had always thought Emma was gorgeous, so I was really happy I finally got to meet her. Just before Christmas 1997, I ended up going to a castle in Ireland with the Spice Girls and David Beckham for New Year. It was a proper whirlwind. As for their love story, it was definitely fleeting, especially considering this 2013 testimony from Brennan is basically the only public information on it there is. Brennan also revealed, I remember Emma and I going for a walk at midnight and there were no paps or anything, so we were really relaxed. It was a really fun romance, but it just kind of fizzled out. Then she met Jade Jones, who she's still with now. Sparks flew the first time Emma Bunton crossed paths with Jade Jones when, according to OK, his group opened for the Spice Girls in 1998. After finding fame as the lead singer of the boy band Damage, Jones went on to become a chef. Chatting with the Sunday Telegraph in 2020, Jones shared his dream when he explained, I will move out to the country and I'll open a gastro pub somewhere. Meanwhile, when Express asked Bunton if she believed in love at first sight in 2014, the former Spice Girl totally delivered, saying, I fell in love with Jade at first sight. He was at a Spice Girl concert with the Damage Boys, and we were backstage, and I remember clocking him straight away. We've been together ever since. At first, it definitely looked like Bunton's instincts had been right. When The Guardian asked about her best kiss ever, she responded, My first with Jade. It was at Mel B's house in Leeds a very long time ago, and it was very passionate. Though the way they met is seriously cute, the pair split up fairly quickly, going their separate ways in 1999 per the sun. We don't know what went wrong, but maybe if he wanted to be her lover, he should have gotten with her friends? Just a thought. We kind of take an age step as it comes. <laughs> In another lifetime, Baby Spice could have had something major in common with her bandmate Posh Spice. As Metro noted, it's generally accepted that Emma Bunton dated soccer player Rio Ferdinand from 1999 to 2000, but Bunton doesn't seem to have confirmed or denied this. At the time, gossip blog Spice News reported that there was a rumor going around that Bunton and Ferdinand were an item, and were hanging out in London hotspots with Ferdinand's teammate David Beckham and his new wife Victoria. The website claimed that Bunton had told The Sun, There is no romance yet. I am young, free, and single, and happy having fun, but I've met Rio a few times as we share the same friends. He's a nice guy. While it's hard to tell what exactly went down between the sportsman and the pop star, we do know that the ex-Manchester United player went on to marry Rebecca Ellison in 2009. They had three children together, but Ellison sadly died from cancer in 2015. Ferdinand went on to marry Kate Wright in 2019, who soon gave birth to a baby boy. Despite their split in 1999, Emma Bunton and Jay Jones couldn't stay away from each other for long and rekindled their romance a year later. However, according to The Sun, the couple got back together in 2000 but split for a second time in 2002, with rumors circulating that Jay didn't agree with Emma's decision to work with Spice Girls manager Simon Fuller on her solo career. In context, it would stand to reason that Jones could feel weird about Bunton putting her solo career into Fuller's hands, as there were rumblings that the two had been romantically linked in the past. Although Bunton and Fuller denied having been involved, some believed that their alleged relationship was the reason the Spice Girls fired him in the first place. That said, Jones refused to play into the drama, and according to The Sun, he said at the time, it was a mutual and amicable breakup. We've decided to concentrate on our careers. There have been no arguments. I'm delighted Simon is managing her. He's very successful. Emma and I will always be friends. From the outside, it looks like Bunton's decision to give all her attention to her music worked out, since her first solo album sold half a million copies. In 2003, there were whispers that Emma Bunton was romantically involved with Justin Timberlake, but all involved parties have been somewhat discreet about this supposed relationship in subsequent years. At the time, though, Contact Music made the bold claim that Timberlake and Bunton had shared a night of passion. The outlet also reported that Timberlake had allegedly told the news of the world, Emma's really gorgeous, we've been together. As for Baby Spice's response to the rumors, Bunton apparently told reporters in 2003 via The Daily Record, I don't care if the papers say I'm still seeing Justin. I'm not. 
A lady should never kiss and tell, and neither should a gentleman. That's all I have to say about him. It means I'm single again, and I'm really enjoying my time with my girlfriends. When Jonathan Ross asked Bunton about this piece of gossip in 2004, she gasped and replied, We hung out and partied a bit. He was very sweet. He spoke about this first, because otherwise I would have not said a word. Years later, when NSYNC played a game of Never Have I Ever on the Ellen DeGeneres show, Timberlake added fuel to the speculation when he shared that he'd hooked up with a member of the Spice Girls. DeGeneres didn't push for details, but naturally, this answer called to mind a certain rumored fling. Whatever did or did not happen, both have clearly moved on with their lives, and Timberlake went on to marry actor Jessica Biel and the pair share two children. Emma Bunton and Jade Jones tried to stay apart, but they ultimately found they couldn't. In 2004, they got back together for the third and final time, and have since enjoyed their fairy tale romance without further interruptions. The two now seem more in love than ever, as Jones recently demonstrated in an emotional birthday post for Bunton, writing, Today we celebrate my queen, my best friend, my confidant, my rock, my beauty, my partner, my wifey, my love, my Emma. Happy birthday to the most amazing woman and mother in the world. Love you endlessly. As for Bunton, she regularly echoes this sentiment, openly describing all the ways her partner makes her life better. When The Guardian asked her who she would like to offer an apology to, she responded, To Jade, my other half, because I can be hard work sometimes, and he is the most calm and understanding person I've ever met. Appearing on The Jonathan Ross Show in 2019, Bunton also admitted that she and Jones never shy away from a little PDA. They were quite passionate. Oh, really? Emma Bunton and Jade Jones welcomed their first child, Bo Lee Jones, in August 2007. The couple's second child, Tate Jones, arrived in May 2011. Bo and Tate are especially precious if you consider that doctors once informed Bunton that her endometriosis could prevent her from having kids at all. As she told Express, I was told that when I was very young, but here I am with two boys. When asked by Made for Moms whether she was a strict mom, Bunton said, It's about having balance. I love cuddles. I would say my other half, Jade, is stricter than I am. He's been my right arm, really, and looked after me. In January 2011, 13 years after they first met, seven years after they finally got back together, and four months before their second child was born, Emma Bunton and Jade Jones became engaged. Bunton first announced the engagement on Dancing on Ice, then took to Twitter to confirm the good news, writing, I'm engaged. Love you, Jade. I'm a very happy lady. You might think this was a long time coming, but the truth is Bunton wasn't really bothered about marrying her partner, and told Closer, We've been rumored to be engaged about 20 times, but we don't need a wedding to justify our relationship. But if we ever do get married, I couldn't run off and do it in secret. My family would be so upset. But the Spice Girl totally contradicted herself in her interview with Express in 2013. When asked if she'd ever get secretly married, Bunton replied, Maybe, that's the sort of thing we'd do. Emma Bunton and longtime fiancé Jay Jones finally sealed the deal in July 2021 at exclusive Members Club Soho Farmhouse in Chipping Norton in the UK. Bunton posted a wedding photo on Instagram, in which a Gucci-clad Jones is pressing his forehead to hers, with the caption, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, and three red hearts. Jones posted a shot of the newlyweds gazing into each other's eyes while standing under a magical floral arch. Speaking on Heart Radio, Bunton addressed her wedding day and revealed, Firstly, I would like to say a massive, massive thank you for all of your lovely messages and congratulations because, yes, I did it. I finally walked down the aisle and married Mr. J. Jones. It's been a long time coming, 23 years actually, but we had the most perfect day. We didn't take our eyes off each other. It was very romantic. Congratulations to the adorable couple. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.